video we're going to be creating a mansion. So the first step is to drag a red box. Then we change the length into 180 and change the width to 80. The height would be 50. So this is the first floor. So in this first floor, there will be a garage next to it. So over here, this length will be 40. And the width is going to be going to be 60. This you can put it until the very edge to make the hole. Now we select all of this and group. So this button right here. Once we press that, we've got a nice garage. Now, next we're gonna make the actual first living area. So from here, we add a whole box which is selected as whole, and then we bring it for 115 centimeter, uh, 115 as the length, and 70 as the width. First, put this height as 45, then we group. Yes. So this is the first living area. Okay, now let's build a second floor. So now what we're doing is just a base. If you want to make the mansion look better, we can just do this, ungroup first, ungroup again, and you can take this box, and if you see this, there's a radius, you can change it to 1.5. This is gonna give the mansion more curve, and it makes the mansion look a bit more stylish. So now you can put group, uh, select all of this and group. So now we've got this nice area. So now let's make the second floor. Let's first add some another box. So we take this and we make it until 90 the length. 90 and this the width would be same just a bit higher than the other one so that would be 100 now the height the height would be 45 now to make it more stylish we take the radius and put it 1.5 now we take this place and then we add a box this box the whole box will um add some space for the people to walk in so from here we take this for um, this will be 80 millimeters the length and then the width will be 90 so then the last part is the height this height will be around 35 if you want to make the house a bit more stylish and so we'll do that right now we're gonna make this higher and this a bit lower so we can add a glass later around the place so it has like this outer area so for now this is fine and we can group so this we add the group so we can make this a bit longer so yeah now we can group yeah, so we've got a good second floor. We're gonna add the glass later, but just for now, we're just gonna make this basic structure. So now we take this second floor, we place it around at under the place, and then we just give this so this cone to take it up. Yes. So take it to the side, and if you want, you can extend it a bit more, however you like, like this, like that, and yeah. So you've got your second floor. To add more. Um, style we can add some poles in front of the area so if we just take this a bit more in front we can add poles so if we take this this the cylinder and first of all we always need to make sure that this is 64 sides so it looks the best we take this 20 and we change it to 5 then we do that again and then we just place it under here we take it up now we can press this button which is duplicate so control D you can do that and then we just move it all the way to the other side right there okay 
No, that was a bit too much. Yep, yep. Now, let's make them all these parts the same color. So, we can change them all to white. Now, let's add some glass. So, if we want to add a bit of glass, we need to go to box and place it down. We want to make it like glass so we can see the inside. So, let's put it as three. Now, let's if you see this transparent button press this and to make it look cool you can put any color but i would prefer black it doesn't so it's it's like transparent and it also looks like it's glass so if we turn this we put this here and we drag it up and then we don't take it all the way the glass because there needs to be some space for the door like around here now, we take another block, we change it to 3 as the width, we put it at the same place, pick it up, take it to the other side, and then change it to white as usual. We take another box, make it same size 3, or you can make it even smaller if you want, and even it's time to make a door. So, this is a mansion, so the door needs to be like small. So, not that big, yeah. Mansions are big. So yeah, we got a little door. Now, let's start with the glass on the second floor. Okay, so first, what you need to do is take the same thing and make it this size. So you can change it later, but first, let's make, bring a whole box and pull it. Um, then you could use this technique that I use, it's super effective. You select both of these and you press this, which is a line. So if you press that, if you press these buttons, they will make it automatically in the middle. So if we press both of them, we'll put them in like the exact middle, which we don't want. So if you command Z that, or you just go back and press this, you got this. Yeah. Now, let's group this. And change the color to black. And then, to transparent. So, now if we want to make it the same, first let's see the length, which is 107. So, we need to make it the same. Change it to 107. Now, let's see the height. We can't exactly see that right now, so the best way is to just move this inside and pick it up. Right above on the edge, yeah, like right above there. We move it in front. There might be some popping sides because there's no radius, like in the other one. So, we can first to make it look more even, you select two objects and do a line. Okay. So we want to make this in the middle. We don't want to make it in the middle here because that will make it go in this way. In the middle. So like here. So we don't want that. So now we just put it outside and make it much easier. Just pull it up. Yeah. Then use this and to make it to the right size. Now we've got some glass on the second floor. Now let's add a door at the back. On the second floor so basically this doesn't need to have an actual door just a space so this will be like a terrace so if we put this here or another way to make it easier is to use this door this door we take it command c and, and then we command v we take this door we move it up take it around this box around here yeah now it's a bit too high, right? So then we can just lower it. Just check the correct places. Then we move it this over here into a, a hole. Then we can make it a bit higher. And then we make this just just to be safe, really far, I guess. And then what you gotta do is group these. So this will be a bit more complicated because like there's also other things. So just go to a very corner and you can get that. So then we can group this, make like a this hole. So you might be thinking there's like a huge hallway and there's nothing in there. So well, we can just fix that. We can do this. So we can just use the same measurements here. So 78 and 107. So we change this to or maybe not the length, the width, because that's not what we need. Maybe just the length. So just 78. This we can put it around the area we want and then pull it up. Now we can just move this into the same place, change this as well, then 
move too far because we don't want it to cross the layers. Then we can just take this. This uh this starts work. Yes, now we're inside. We just need to move this and then lower it a tiny bit. Yes. Uh yep. And we make this all the way here. So there's more living space plus not by end just a weird hallway. So now we just move these with three shapes as well. Uh, we need to just make it two shapes. Yes, now we just move it and we got a nice down area. This can be used for anything, I guess. Now let's move on to this outside part. So we don't want it to be like too risky and scary. So, and if people can fall off if there's a door there. So we could just make a fence. So now let's just add this down here, make it white, bring it up. It doesn't need to be that tall, yeah. And let's lower it a bit. Yeah. So more inside. So this can be put here, not maybe that big around there, yeah. And we bring this all the way there to the corner. Now we can do the same thing. Just add a new one so we can just duplicate and this will be a bit messy, but for here, we turn it 90 degrees. So then we can just place it wherever we want. So, yeah. And then we do this humongous thing. Find the middle. Oh, oops, got the wrong one. From here, we pull this middle one all the way there. Yes. So now we've got like a fence. So these two, and then we just need to repeat the same thing for over here. So we duplicate 90 degrees, place, and change. Yeah. So we got this fence. So we're gonna add some stairs around here. So it goes up to the balcony, and we'll get that done right now. So you wanna make stairs? You might be thinking, oh, this is gonna take a long time. But no, there's a way to get it done real quick. So first, you only need two steps. So first, get the size that you want of the stairs. So these people are really small because they're on. So you can, well, there's a big mansion and the doors as well, so they might be even smaller. So you can make this as um, three. So it's not going to be that big. We place it down here or anywhere. So then we duplicate. We can bring it up. We bring it to the side. Yes. So then, now that we've got that done, we can just um, do that again. Just one last time. Take it to the left. Then we can just duplicate and it does all the work. You can just go up, make as much stairs as you want. Yeah, so like that. But then we can just adjust it however we want. So we first, the best thing to do is to group it. So take all of these. Wait, all of these and so, so then we take all of these three shapes and then we group them. So then while we're at a perfect height, we can put it in the building. We can make it a bit smaller as well. So small people. So we put it here. And you can increase the height a little bit. Yeah. And final step, we take one more block, pull it up, and you can make a little base so they don't like do some kind of parkour while they're over there. So this, this, yep, set a good height. You can change it, make it thicker, then pull it down. Yeah. There you have some stairs. Now this, we just move it with this shapes group it and then let's change it to the mansion color which is white and there we have some stairs now to make it more elegant we just use this um move it a bit backwards and first we can build a little base so if we take a box we make the height as um one so then we can build a base so you just surround or just go around the whole mansion if it goes out of the workspace, that's fine. You can just make it the whole mansion a bit smaller later. So this. And now we can add a pool. So that is really easy. So first you add this. This we make the wall thickness to 1. Then we want to make it as big as possible, but it has to stay in the boundaries. So let's just make this oval type of shape. Put it here. Oh, just forgot. We can make the sides to 64. Now you can make the size 3, yeah, good enough. We put it here and we add a cylinder. 
this we have to make as two the height the size 64 and the color will be blue well because it's water so then we do the exact same distance which is 90 so we change the same thing to 90 and then the width is 52 do the same 52 so because it is a swimming pool and we don't want to take up the whole space we can just make the size a bit small so we can make this 51.2 and then 89.2 so as we make this a bit smaller we can drag this out we can drag it out and use a line so we use this put it together and use a line to put this now we don't want this to be orange we want it to be white and even the ground white so now all we need to do is drag oh wait i forgot to add this one we need to do also this side now we do this and then we drag it here so now we've got a nice little pool now we've got a huge mansion and we're done